Welcome back to another episode of Fine Scale Modeler's New Product Rundown One Shot. This time I'm going to take a look at a sort of an interesting little piece from a company that's relatively new, Hypersonic Models out of Japan. They sent us this 148 scale AG330 start cart, which was used to start the SR71s. It has two, there's two different versions of it, the early and the late. The early has two Buick Wildcat V8s. The later has two Chevy big block V8s in it, and they powered a vertical shaft that was run up into the engine of the SR71 from underneath and would spin up the turbine to get it started before they took off. So it's kind of an interesting piece. If you're building a 148 scale SR71 and you're looking to do a diorama, this would be perfect for that. So let's take a look inside the box. Nice, this is a plastic kit, it's not resin. Um, nice little uh, bags, it's not a whole lot of parts. It's a relatively large vehicle for, or trailer for 48 scale. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Don't cut yourself. Thanks man, appreciate that. Uh, Tim Kidwell, editor of Scale Auto on camera, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing? He's here all week. All right, so this is the bulk of the trailer itself. Here's the top, nice hinge detail and uh, fine panel lines, recessed panel lines on there. Here's the underside. You can see the sumps for the engines. Uh, wheels, these are nicely molded with uh, hub detail and just a little bit of tread. And if you look, they're actually weighted yeah, you can see that. To, to give the weight, because I'm guessing that two big block GM engines are going to add some weight to a trailer. Um, this looks like the part that has the control panel on it. Various trailer hitches. These are nice, fine trailer hitches. If you look, these are fairly fine attachment points to the sprues, too. Very cleanly molded. I don't see a whole lot of mold seam on most of the parts either, so that's a nice touch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other sprue. Like I said, it's relatively simple. Actually, I guess there's like three or four sprues in here. No, oh, just one. Okay. Here's more of the trailer. These are the intakes. These would be radiators in here. Uh, there's some PE parts we'll look at in a minute. Then, And then here are the parts that set the two different versions apart. The bulk of the trailer is the same, but there are some uh, parts that are unique to either the Buick or the Chevy version. This is the Buick. It has this opening on here. But look at how fine these louvers are on both of these pieces uh, in 48 scale. They're not open, but they're cleanly molded, and with a little bit of a wash, they'd really pop under paint. And then you also have different exhausts. Again, these are the... Buick exhaust, there's, there's not even an attempt at a muffler on these. I was reading something online that these were incredibly loud when you were standing next to them and there were like three, fo three foot shoots of flame out of the exhaust when they were powering up. And then the Chevy exhausts on the other side. You said something about photo edge? I did, and I don't, hmm, you know what? The photo etch is in my office. Shall we go find it? Let's go find it. Do, 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 do. Hi, Kathy. Hi. I know I saw it because I realized it was out of the box and I was going to put it back in the box and I put it down. Can you work in this? Excuse me? This is full creative environment. While he's looking for his stuff here, let's take a look at this, this awesome Klingon ship over here. Yeah, showing your favoritism again, man. Hey, Klingons before Federation. <sighs> really? You're the one that built it. Yeah, it didn't say it wasn't cool. I just don't know that I would go, it's cooler than Federation ships. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. This thing, by the way, is a great model. Lights up. Where the? Okay. This is troubling me now, because I remember seeing it. It's in a little bag. Anyway, there are photo etch parts that go with that kit. Seriously, photo etch parts. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Aha! No, okay. Good job, Mia. See, he did find them. Yep, I knew where they were all, all right, the time. Let's go back. Let's, let's go back. Let's yes, we can do, look at them better that way. Well, after that interesting diversion, yeah, you need to come back over this way. Please. Here, you want me to do this? You want me to close the door? Okay. All right. So, 
Okay, we have photo etch parts. We do. So let's take a look at the photo etch parts. It has to package in a Ziploc bag with some cardboard behind them. Photo etch brass. So you've got engine screens for the radiator intakes that are on the front of the trailer. Yeah, get rid of that reflection. There's a, the uh, control panel with uh, dials and so forth. There's some tie downs, some other bits and pieces, controls, reflectors for the corners, some hinges. Really sharp looking photo etch. Indeed. Yeah, and they're just they're just the right open so that when you put them on there, paint the inside black, maybe highlight the radiator a little bit, it's going to look sharp. And then we have decals to do this. And like I said, this covers both early and late versions of the trailer, the starter cart. So what they give you is there's a, the dials for the control panel, some placards, there's a bunch of stencils, there's a matrix of different numbers, so you can number it for just about any vehicle. There's a number of codes here for different squadrons or air bases, I'm not sure which. Some white marker strips for the early version, the yellow version, which we'll take a look at later. There's also the US Air Force, et cetera, there. According to the instructions, this gives you just about every marking you could do to do any variation of the trailer at any point in time during the SR-71's career. So let's quick, take a quick look at the instructions. And the instructions are also very nice. Nice little color booklet. Good, looks like computer generated drawings, but I like the fact that he color codes the new parts so you can kind of see exactly where they go. Very clear. There's the exhausts for the Buick version. He, he very clearly differentiates the A versus the light. There's the P parts going on. In various places. Looks like there's some some parts of the steering mechanism or photo etch as well. Here's you can do the actual uh, shaft for the starter in either stowed or uh, upright, so you can pose it with your uh, SR71. And there's an optional lid here. Um, and then here are the marking options. They were the early ones were yellow. The later ones were olive drab or uh, a couple of other uh, colors are mentioned, grays. Look at your references, what time period your aircraft is in that you're modeling, and you should be able to come up with a good way to do this. It's a nice addition to an SR-71, which we all know is a popular aircraft. As I recall, Tim really likes the SR-71. I do. And uh, a lot of people do. Uh, there's the Italy Testers 48 scale kit that's been out there for a long time. This will be the perfect addition to it. That and some crew figures, and you got yourself a nice diorama. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting FindScale.com. I'll see you next time.